In this series we'll build each kit from the Fantasy Village set by Battle Systems, discussing any construction pitfalls and build mistakes as well as kit specific build tips and possible conversions. Once everything is built we'll test a variety of methods to colour the edges of the terrain and then finally conclude with an in-depth overall review video of the whole Fantasy terrain set. Follow along and consider subscribing if that sounds like something you don't want to miss. Okay, so we're going to work on the storage barn now. So we'll start by taking out all the wall pieces. We've got three individual sheets. So the walls on here, uh, first story floor, ground floor, obviously the roof. Uh, this is all part of the roof as well. Little winch at the front. Yeah, so let's take the, uh, take the walls out first. We'll start with that. As usual, just be careful with the window frame bar in the middle there. We'll start with the first, uh, the bot, uh, start with the ground floor. Uh, as they say on the battle systems guide, start with the pieces with the struts. When you're doing the ground floor. Yeah, just again, gotta be just gotta be careful there. I'm almost uh start slight bending right there when I was opening the door. It's just again, just need to be careful. Kind of mean being not as careful as I could be. the ground floor. Okay, so yeah, we need to use T-clips on the upper walls, so that's these ones. Uh, front and back doors. So. Up the first floor. Now we need, uh, we, this doesn't join into the part where the door is, so we'll have that as the front. So we'll leave that one blank. Oh, yeah, that's not quite right. <laughs> Double check how I meant to do that. Okay, so did that wrong. So that's correct. Those T clips are meant to be pointing forward and backwards. Another example of paying attention to the video before you start. Which I obviously wasn't doing. Well, this is a good tester to see how well these do come apart and put back together. Which is fine. Yes, that's right. So sits a little bit off centre, which is meant to it's meant to sit to one side. Okay, just rechecking the video. I'm actually going to move the door side here. No, I'm not. You can't bother with that. I'm going to leave it as it is and we'll see if it works. So, onto the roof. We need to pop out these pieces. So, we've got that, those two, this one, centre gable here. Yeah, see. Do you need to be careful with popping these out? Just ripped a bit there. That's my fault, I should really be popping them out from this side, so that's annoying. That's a good tip actually, yeah, pop them out from the side where they've got the descriptions written on the front. Cut, cut that out there. 
case there's a couple more pieces that need to pop out. Two more struts, so you've got sort of the front legs of the building, back legs of the building, you need the gables as well. I'm going to put those on first. Yeah, see that's not quite cut through there. I think you really do need a knife on hand, so sort of just trim off any bits that need, need trimming off. Nothing complicated, but something to be aware of. A couple of these long straight clips. Yeah, it's just a bit careful here. Put some backwards pressure on there. Careful with that bit. Okay, so here's where the T clips come into play. So we've got the front of the upper story here, and these are the long, uh, the thicker legs. These two here. So they go on like this. On this build, I have had to keep going back and watching the video because there's quite a few things I sort of missed or forgot quite how to do right. Yeah, lots of negative space in this set as well, which I really like. Okay, there we go. So be careful with that. And then that would sit like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so the next stage is to put this front beam on and you kind of got to put the winch through at the same time. So, oh, a bit there to pop out. And a nice bit of negative space there. Uh, so apparently that fits through there. It does just, cool. So that goes in there. I don't think you really want to put too much downward pressure on these little legs, so we'll hold them underneath. Get that out of the way, don't need that on there. There we go, it's going in nicely. Careful with that. And then... That needs to go in there. Probably should have... Yeah, needed to back that off a little bit. Put that down at the same time. Little bit. There we go. Now I'll reinsert those. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, now for the roof. So the usual thing with these these roofs, just to bend them a little bit at a time. So you can always. Always have more afterwards, it's easier to have more than to try and put it put it back again. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty careful with this stuff, but yeah, well, just as I was pushing that in then bent that over a little bit. It's fine, it looks okay, but just another indication really of just needing to be really careful. It's really just about identifying where you're holding the pieces that you're putting together. So when I push, when I was pushing that in, I was kind of holding it there. So that is kind of my fault, really. Probably should have held the whole lot of that with my hand on the side there, where there's no slip, but it's more solid. Hopefully, uh, these little mistakes that I'm making will help you guys when you're building yours, not to make quite the same mistakes, or not make them as often as me. Oh, there's a lot of resistance on that piece. Okay. I don't think that's going to come off again, so that's good. And I guess it's kind of a blessing and a curse, because it kind of means in my opinion, that once these are on, they're on. I really don't want to be taking these on and off again because being so tight, they are going to start to pull up some of the printed part of the card if you're taking them on and off again with such a where well, there's such a tight join. Positive though is that even without putting this final piece on, that feels really quite solid. Holding into under there, so 
with some backwards pressure. So jig it around a little bit until you get the positioning correct. That looks okay. Ah, nice. Give the give the roof just the right amount of right amount of bend right from the start. So that's cool. Yeah, that looks that looks really neat. I love the way the roof overhangs at the front. That's really cool. That's together. So what we've we got? That's the main. That's the main building done now. Yeah, that looks good. I do just want to make this staircase because I think it looks really cool. Just there. That needs cutting. Which is no problem really. As long as you're kind of aware that those things might might happen. And you shouldn't be ripping too much of the the nicely printed artwork. And I'm hoping that this is just a straightforward piece of four steps and a kind of top step up there. So let's see. Hey, yes, a quick tip. On the Battle System video, they built this door on the side, which I couldn't be bothered to change once I'd made the mistake to put it on the back. Because they then had these steps on the side, which would kind of look a bit better when you look at the building from the front. But as it is, I will be having these steps on the back, which again looks pretty cool. And Thinking about it, if you had a, like a hay barn with doors at the front, there's a trap door in the back here. I think the other door would probably be at the back of the building. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Maybe let me know if that's complete rubbish. But it looks pretty good like that still. Yeah, yeah so I like that one. Again, with the roof, you can see where even with the gentle creasing, you're getting a little bit of lining. A little bit of creasing on the reverse of these roofs. Unfortunately, the reverse is the outside that you see. So that's not perfect. It isn't really cracking too much. But another indication to me as I'm going along that I wouldn't want to be taking these apart, storing them flat, re, re, -crease, no, re bending them back again, and building the set back up multiple times. Because every time you do that, this crease line is going to worsen slightly. At the moment, it's fine. All that also tells me is I will maybe crease the remainder of the roofs that I've got a little less as I'm building the set. I like that. I like the steps. I like that it's 3D, that it's got bits that come out from the main structure of the building, a bit like the lake house. I think they look less boxy like that. And when they're on the table or built together, I think they're gonna look I think they're gonna make a really nice scene. And straight away as I'm looking around this, my eyes aren't really drawn to these plastic clips. Maybe if they were grey. Actually, a grey one would have worked fine on that bottom building because it's white. So another tip there I've just realised is, I suppose, if you have bought a few of the brown clips extra, but you've got the grey ones with the set, possibly use the grey clips in areas where the building art is white or the stonework is grey. That seems fairly obvious now that I've built it up with the brown clips, so I'm not going to change it, but yeah, something to keep, keep in mind. Okay, great. Well, Catch you in the next one. Here's the storage barn on the tabletop amongst some of the other terrain. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments below and give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you like the video and want to see more. Next week we're going to tackle the blacksmith's forge so that's going to be quite a big building. I'm looking forward to that one.